Hi, uh, tonight what we're going to take a look at is how to create the assignment for my second page. Now my second page isn't a second page, it's actually a second site, a first site rather. Um, what we're going to look at is how to put everything together so that we can recognize right away that we have an entire website. Now I'm going to take the liberty here of opening a browser You'll notice the browser is set open to Google just because this is my home page. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you um, here on Notepad that I have uh, not one, not two, but actually four separate pages. And uh, in this case, because I'm opening them with Notepad, I need to go from text documents to all files. And I can come down here and I can show you my second. And that's what you see here. Now what you'll notice is some of the stuff we've seen before. HTML, title, body a heading that's centered, and a paragraph. We started working last time with, actually last two times, with ordered lists. Um, but there is something here that is different. You'll notice here, and you'll see it on all three lines here, is the link begins with the letter A. Um, a is for anchor. And ahref means that this is the hypertext link in question. So when I write ahref equals myclasses.html, that's the file that it's going to look for. And all four of the files have to be in the same directory because since I haven't listed a directory that they're in, it's going to look for them in the same directory. Now, what I'm going to do here. I'm going to come up here to uh, Google Chrome, Control O, and I'm going to come down here to where I have my second, and this is what the page will look like. Now, these, notice in my browser, uh, they're underlined, they're in blue, and so far, so good. Now, I'm going to open another tab for reasons you'll see in a moment. I'm going to use Notepad and I'm going to open and again I'm going to go to the same directory, all files, and this time I'm going to look for, what's the first of the links here? My class schedule. Now that's a good one to go to <clears throat> because that's actually going to be the hardest of the four. That's not the one we're looking for. Here it is. Now, what you'll see here at the beginning is a link that says table, a line equals center, meaning that everything that I put in each entry in the table will be centered. Now, TR is short for table row. TH for table heading. TD for table data. So what you're looking at here is that I'm going to have going across the top in five adjacent items, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you can tell here, I've got table row here and the closing for it here. Here you'll see the classes, and I want to make one thing very clear. This is not meant, I picked these literally at random. So Jen would be a uh, freshman orientation experience. Gen Ed 100. One C170 is this class. Sociology, Japanese, English. Um, these are standard, DB, standard abbreviations that the university uses for the different, uh, different subject areas. Now you'll notice that in each of the entries I have for each row TR to open it, slash TR to close it. For each of the entries in the headings, TH to open, slash TH to close. For the individual rows, TD to open, 
slash TD to close. And again, uh, I'm going to have a link. And here, a href, what that's telling me is that this is the file that I'm going to go to next. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to come over here, control O, and I'm going to come down to my classes. And here you can see the table. Now there isn't a border here because I didn't specify one. If I would want to do that, I could come over here and either before a line equals center or after it, I can write border equals a one in quotation marks. I can save it. And here you'll notice now I get it bracketed. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you're doing it either way is good. Now, the other thing I want to point out is that here I can show you this links back to the first one. I'm going to open Notepad again, and I'm going to now go to my experience And you'll notice here, it looks a lot like what we've had before. Um, I'm going to space this over and make this a capital I. Now, B is for boldface, I is for italics, and I have to close them in the reverse order that I open them. Otherwise, it doesn't work correctly. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'll save it again. I'm going to come over here and again, control O, and I'll open my classes. I'm sorry, this is my experience. And here you can see it. Now, uh, last of all, I'm going to now go, I'm going to open the last one, which is my hobbies um, and you can see it here I'm an avid surfer and I enjoy engaging in many activities that are primarily uh, I'm an avid web server and I enjoy engaging in many activities that are primarily on the World Wide Web these include hacking into Defense Department computer systems no I don't and I would strongly recommend you're doing that either. Drawing mustaches on pictures of Cindy Crawford that appear on the web. I don't do that, I just thought it was funny when I wrote it. Eating Ben and Jerry's ice cream with a fork. Um, well, maybe that's not so funny either. Um, but in either case, um, I now have four pages. Oops. Edit, undo, and I'll save. Now I can come over here, control O, my hobbies, and you can see it here. Um, now, I don't have to do all of these in separate browser tabs. Um, I chose to do this so I can go between them very quickly. Um, from schedule, I can go back and forth, from experience, back and forth, and so on. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have all four of these open, is I'm going to set up a, a um, flash drive I have here, and I'm going to save these on my flash drive. Um, my hobbies I'll do first. Save as. Um, again, uh, here I have to come here first. Maybe I should have done that scanning, but that's a story for another day. Um, I'm going to come over here to here. 
and I'm going to set up a new folder down here I'm gonna right click on new folder and hit rename so I can call this now second web site I'm gonna come in here save alt files and it's there I'm gonna close this tab because I already know I have it saved I'm gonna come here file save as and again removal drive second website again save all files I'll close that tab file save as down here removable disk come down over here to second website Again, all files and save. And lastly, save as. And again, here you can see it. All files. And that's it. Now, in this case, I chose to put it in this in this in a brand new directory on a flash drive that I've used on a few occasions. Now, obviously it doesn't matter that much where you put them, but you do want to make sure that they are all in the same directory. Um, what you're going to do this time is to upload onto Moodle all four files. And that wasn't so bad, was it? 